Hello everyone, I'm Account Manager Joy from CACLP team and I will be sharing with you the topic of marketing in China. In this presentation, we will explore the main cultural differences between China and the West. Hope this will be helpful for everyone to build marketing channels in China. I'm going to talk about it based on four parts. The first part is overview of China IVD market. Here is some background information about China. China is the fourth largest country in the world with more than 1.4 billion people. China's rich and ancient culture is fascinating and diverse. Understanding it will be very helpful for your company. With growth driven by an aging population and increasing healthcare demands, China IVD market size reached 23.7 billion United States dollar in 2022, up 31% year on year. The market is expected to continue its high growth trend in the next 5 to 10 years. That would be very substantial. The IVD market in China is divided into six different segments differentiated by their principles. Clinical immunity, driven by the chemiluminescence market, is the largest segment in China IVD market in recent years. Molecular diagnosis and POC have grown rapidly in the past three years due to the epidemic. The legislative system of medical device is developing rapidly in China. It is complex and evolving, but keeping up with the regulatory and requirements is necessary for all companies who want to enter the Chinese market. The number of approved imported medical devices in China is continuously increasing, creating new opportunities for overseas companies. In 2022, 461 IVD products were newly approved, including 107 imported IVD products with 9% year-on-year increase. However, China's regulatory process can be slow and bureaucratic, presenting challenges for foreign companies seeking to enter the market. Let's move on to part two, the impact of cultural differences on marketing strategies. Westerners tend to see the world as made of individuals and break markets down into smaller parts to better focus on these individuals. Chinese, on the other hand, will look at patterns and changes in patterns. It greatly affects your marketing from the message all the way down to the marketing tools you choose. Understanding China's unique marketing mindset is key for companies looking to enter or expand their business in China. How to build a good partnership? Establishing relationships is crucial in China, where it's a source of authority in almost every area of life. Brands and companies should be adept at developing relationships and building friendships with potential customers in the marketing process. In China, people trust each other rather than companies or brands. Personal relationships and word-of-mouth recommendations carry more weight than traditional advertising. It makes investing time and effort in fasting relationships especially critical in the Chinese market. Networking is essential to building relationships in China where business is still largely based on interpersonal connections, companies should participate in trade shows and other community events to establish themselves and make meaningful connections. Seize your customers' attention with dynamic, informative content in the language they understand. Keep close contacts with your clients by creating immersive stories that empower and inspire action. Communicate regularly with your clients and keep them informed of new developments in your company, products, and industry. China has a number of cross-platform media giants, most notably Alibaba, Tencent, and ByteDance. These companies own or control vast swatches of digital content across numerous industries. 
they have a huge user community that can be counted by billions. Cross-platform integration and countless users allow these giants to create omni-channel marketing champions that leverage the strengths of different media channels. According to Kleiner Parkings, Chinese customers spend 55 of their online time within Tencent's ecosystem, which include messaging, social media, video, financial service, and gaming platforms. The presence of these media giants also makes the comprehensive closed-loop data accessible at the individual level, which enables marketers to analyze and create more personalized and engaging marketing content. Mobile technology is leading the way in the future of advertising as mobile phones evolve from mere communication devices to become the primary platform for content consumption. In China, this mobile-first characteristic is even more obvious. As such, advertising should be tailored to the mobile experience to ensure maximum reach and engagement. Chinese take the long view and spend a lot of time building relationships yet. At the same time, they take action and move extremely quickly. Understanding these psychological factors in China is helpful for developing your marketing strategy. The Chinese, like everyone everywhere, prefer to read in their native language, even if they are fluent in English. WeChat has a translation function, making it possible to publish in English, but people still prefer to read directly in Chinese. Taking the time and effort to translate your marketing messages will also communicate that you are still into account your customers' need. Here comes part 3. These are some of the major Chinese media and advertising platforms. Nowadays, you can find various kinds of advertisement on TV, radio, billboard, and prints. These traditional channels are still effective in the Chinese market. Due to the special characteristics of IVD products, strict regulation and content restrictions, it is obviously not appropriate to advertise in public area via TV, radio, and large-scale billboards. Print has always given the public a professional and formal impression due to its long life cycle, which combines with its quality of targeted circulation, makes it particularly suitable for scientific and business fields. Social media is growing rapidly around the world, especially in mobile-first China. In China, social media is no longer used only for social functions. People use it to get information, buy and sell, and communicate. In China, people tend to go to a website only when searching for something special or wanting official information. A well-designed website can convey professionalism and establish credibility, but it should not be your only channel to reach customers in China, especially if your website is based in your home country. Search engine optimization can help drive traffic to your website organically, but can be challenging in China since it can be influenced by paid ads. Remember, Chinese buyers usually trust recommendations from KOLs and relationships more than search engines. While emailing is less popular in China, it can be still effective communication tool, especially for international content and official purpose. Email often have a lower response rate than other channels, but the ROI is still good since email is cheap. With Chinese users spending a lot of time on their cell phones, SMS can be a good way to reach your customers with more impressions and high clicks. However, text messaging is relatively expensive and focus on conversation. It should be the bottom of the sales funnel. 
according to B2B International, offline channels such as conferences and trade shows offer more personalized experience and opportunities for relationship building, which is crucial in the Chinese culture. Thus, conferences and trade shows are nearly the most important marketing tool for the companies entering China. The event is an opportunity for potential customers to ask questions and have the advantage of establishing the face-to-face -face contact with Chinese buyers. But also, they are typically more expensive. The last one will be strategies for success. To summarize today's topic, the strategy can be divided into four steps. The first one, market research. Conducting through market research is essential for success in the Chinese market. Understanding local trends, customer preference, and regulatory environments can help overseas companies position themselves for success. The second, local partnership. Partnering with experienced local partners and advisors can help overseas companies navigate the unique challenges of the Chinese market and build strong relationships with key players. The third, digital marketing. Digital marketing and social medias offer significant opportunities to access Chinese customers. Understanding the local digital landscape and working with experienced local partners can help overseas companies maximize their impact. The last one, patience and persistence. Reaching the Chinese market can take time and require significant investment. Persistence, patience, and a long-term outlook are essential for success. Thanks for watching. Follow us on the following platforms to get the latest news. See you next time. Bye bye.